Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your friend Rich Tegel and in today's video we will discuss how to create the portrait by using graphite pencil in a simplest way without creating any grit. Firstly, draw the rough sketch of the portrait first. While making any portrait, it is considered to observe the features so deeply and observe the flow of lines. Hey guys, if you don't know how to draw the features, how to capture the actual character of that person whose portrait you are creating or if you don't know the basics, then please let me know so that I'll post some more videos like this. So, after you have done with your drawing, lighten it by erasing the lines. Light drawing will let you shade well. So after removing the dust from the paper by using the tissue paper, we will continue the actual process. Firstly use HB pencil for light drawing. You can also use 2B pencil for light shading in the beginning. Just absorb the flow of the pencil and the flow of the lines from the portrait. Don't rub the pencil hardly on the paper. Just move it slowly and slightly or gradually darken it by overlapping of the pencil shading. Never try to rub your pencil again and again over your shading otherwise it will destroy your painting and its pores. Always try to keep your painting or shading light in the beginning. Mark the areas where you want to add the dark tones or the light tones. For darkness, you can also overlap the first layer over and over again. Remember, always keep your shading lighter in the beginning. Here, I am using smudging tool for blending the pencil and for creating the smoothness in it. In case if you don't have any smudging tool, then you can simply just roll up the tissue paper in the form of a pencil and you can use it. For the darkness of the eyeball here, I am using 6B pencil for the darker tones. You can also use 8B pencil, it's all up to you whether you want to use 6B or 8B. But here it is important to mention that don't rub your pencil so hard that it will destroy the pores of the paper or the smoothness of your sheet. So guys, here I am using flat brush or synthetic flat brush for merging. You can also use graphite powder or charcoal powder for shading. Move your brush so smoothly over the face so that it won't be look so weird. Just move the brush so smoothly that you are applying blusher on your face as if I am not wrong we girls know better how to apply blush on our face so smoothly. Always try to observe the shade and light the lightest tone or the darkest tones while shading. It will be also helpful while coloring too.
blend the pencil properly for getting the smooth finish. Here I had super fast on my video so that it won't be last too long because if I am not wrong nobody likes too long videos. In fact I don't like to watch too long videos. After you had done with your blending, start the erasing process. Erase the places where you want the extraordinary highlights or you can say add to highlights. You can also add details by using mono eraser. You can also use flat eraser or normal eraser for adding the flat areas highlights. In fact, you can also use the eraser by cutting it accordingly. You can also enhance more darkness according to your own will or according to the shade and light you are observing in your subject. So after you had completed your blending process, your shading process, you can add more details for more realistic touches. Try to capture the areas where you can add more and more details for more refinement. Now for making hairs, you can move your pencil in a vertical way. Here you can use 8B pencil or 10B pencil for extraordinary darkness of your hairs. Here you can also use charcoal powder for darkness of the hairs. So guys here I am using 10B pencil for the darkness of the hairs but always remember to place the tissue paper under your hands. Keeping the tissue paper under your hands make your painting complete smoothly and neatly. Although tissue paper never let the charcoal or the graphite to be stuck with your hands as sometimes it creates messy if you won't place tissue paper under your hands.
Here you can also use mono eraser for adding the light tones or the strokes to your hairs. Remember whether you are using brush, pencil, charcoal, mono eraser or any sort of material, always move it in one direction. Otherwise, it will give you a tacky look to your painting. Somehow also stop the fluency or the rhythm in your painting. Last step is to add the touches to your painting, the final touches or the final details. Final details or final touches are important for final finishing. So here it is, finally our sketch is complete. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. For more videos, please like and subscribe my channel. If you like my video, then please like, share and comment. If you have any query, then please let me know in the comment section. At last, we will remove the cello tape that we had on our borders. Actually, the artists use these tapes for adding the clean borders to your paintings or your sketches for making it more graceful. Thank you so much guys for watching my video and remember to subscribe my channel.